Hello and welcome back everybody. This is MC1 Gamer bringing you an update. Yes, I finally got all the components in. Well, 99% of the components in for my uh, my new PC. And I didn't go obviously for top of the, top shelf, top of the line for everything, but I got a reasonably good computer. I wanted a computer that I could, you know, pass for gaming, uh, but also something that was going to upgrade what was <laughs> really an aging system. That's my Decepticons case. Uh, this is probably about five years old. I mean, you know, it, it, it's got some decent stuff for the time in there, but it, it the motherboard fried finally, and I'm probably just gonna, sa you know, just salvage maybe just the uh, the uh, the DVD um, ROM, whatever. I mean, I have a um, let's see, I don't even remember what what I got in there. I got a yeah, I got a Sony um, DVD um, player, read write. You know, I mean, I'll I'll, I'll salvage this. And, uh, you know, put that in there so I can load up Windows. But I got some suggestions from a number of people. I want to thank, um, you know, Josh Dannon for some of his uh, suggestions. I went with a couple of things from him. I watched a million videos just to, you know, catch up. I really haven't been keeping up with the latest, greatest. I mean, you know, I, there's plenty of brands that I know about. But uh, just, you know, I'm tech savvy enough that, you know, I would understand, you know, what's going on. And, and but. Obviously, I haven't been building computers in the past several years, so I didn't know what cool cases there were. I thought about getting a fractal case, you know, the R4, the R5, because it was really silent. And this behemoth has got like six, <laughs> it's got a bunch of fans in it, uh, but it, it has one Zalman um, CPU cooler fan that just sounds like a rocket engine. And I wanted to go with something quiet. So just to go over what kind of stuff I'm going to get. And before I even say that, let me just say this, uh, you know, I'm, I, the, the, the reason why I have not had bat reps is because I've been only working off of, uh, you know, mobile devices. I don't know how people survive with just mobile devices and don't have a desktop computer and they just have, you know, a tablet or, you know, the phone that I'm working off of. I have a watch, which is nice, but you're not computing off of a watch. Um, and I'm, I'm obviously a PC person. I'm not a Mac person. Uh, but you know, the, the, uh, the, the, having spent this past month and only working off of mobile devices has been fairly crippling. Uh, I haven't been able to do any editing. Uh, I'm sure that there's something that I probably could have found for my tablet, but bottom line is, is I've been only been able to do stuff that's been live like this. And uh, I was working for a while off of my wife's computer, which is kind of a duplicate of that old one, but it just doesn't have, it, it's, it's, it's on its last leg too. We were really due for an upgrade. And, um, you know, here we go. So uh, here's some of the things that I, I, I went and I got. Um, I went for a, um, the uh, a Z95 SLI, you know, the, uh, I thought that was pretty good. And uh, I probably could have gone a little bit crazier on the motherboard, but I thought this was a good one. Uh, it allowed me for some expandability. Obviously, I went for an i5, and I'm pretty happy about that, too. Um, this was the uh, the 4690K. Um, I didn't want to go for an i7. I mean, I, I just I had I had a budget, and, you know, my budget was under a thou, and ideally about $800 uh, before I got the uh, OS, the operating system. So that was what I tried to stick to. And the one thing I'm missing here is the solid state. I'm going to get a Samsung solid state drive. And uh, uh, I'll get about, you know, 128 gig, uh, either the 850 Evo or Pro. I'll see what I can uh, afford. You know, I'll throw that in there and that'll be for some, you know, for the operating system. Quick load up, maybe a couple of games for some speed. Um, I went for a, um, the, the seems to be the, the standard best aftermarket, you know, cooler for the CPU, the Hyper 212. Didn't really think I needed it terribly, but I, I went for it anyway. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be doing any overclocking. I'm not sure. I don't, I, I don't even, I, I forget whether I even can overclock with this yet. Um, uh, I haven't looked. Uh, but you know what? If I can't overclock, I'm not going to care, but I like the, to make sure that things are cool. And, uh, you know, depending on what the scenario is. I, I, I didn't want to go for a 970 or a 980. GTX, there were some other ideas on graphics card. I wanted to get a really powerful graphics card, but the cost for this one was just too, it just was, I couldn't pass it up. Um, it was $200 pick up at Micro Center. I picked everything up, by the way, at Micro Center. There was maybe one or two things I could have gotten for like $20 cheaper at uh, online, other places. Shipping, you know, overall would have made it even more expensive. Uh, some things were free shipping, but, you know, I, I got a good deal on a couple of things, and this was, uh, this was one of them. So uh, I'm pretty happy that I picked this up for uh, less than even the sticker on it says. So, um, and I forget, I forget if it was the graphics card or if it was 
the you know the uh, the motherboard was actually even cheaper than that. Motherboard was like one hundred and forty or something like that. Um, I picked up a uh, anti-static uh, wrist uh, uh, thing because a lot of people have suggested it. I didn't use one last time. I think I had one when I did my first computer build, but I didn't do it the last time. Um, got some uh, ballistics, uh, about eight gig uh, here. <clears throat> RAM is RAM. I mean, it really doesn't seem to have much of an impact for a lot of different brands. Uh, don't don't let the price, uh, the stickers on these things fool you. I got these things for a lot less than what they have listed on the sticker price. Um, uh, walked away with uh, um, a uh, Corsair 600. Uh, this is the uh, CX series. This is, I believe, this is uh, one of the the, the uh, bronze. I think it is. Um, but these, these, you know, this is supposed to be a good one, and I got it modular, so it'll help me with uh, a lot of the cabling. Um, just a, a basic Western digital, one terabyte uh, for internal storage. Again, I'm going to get a Samsung uh, Evo for the um, for the uh, solid state. Um, if you have any suggestions, if there's a better one that people are suggesting, that's fine. But I get a pretty good price on on Samsung right now for uh, reasons that I'm not going to disclose. Um, and then, of course, for the case, you know, I really I struggled more than anything else with the case. I wanted a cool looking case. Uh, I didn't want anything that was over the top with lights and you know uh, the the uh, a big w window and um, I just wanted something that had maybe perhaps a, a a filter for the dust that I could remove and then clean periodically, uh, so I didn't have to open up the entire you know unit to cl to clean just to clean it. I mean, obviously it's a good idea to do periodically anyway, but if you have a, these screens that you can take. You can take off. That helps you a tremendous amount in terms of convenience. Um, but I also obviously wanted something that I could expand, to, you know, over the course of time. I like that the fact that it has a um, uh, some good cooling options, top, back. I think it might have bottom as well. Um, I didn't get any extra uh, fans. If I need to, uh, I, I can easily do that. And, you know, this is a nice one. I was thinking, I know that um, one of my viewers had recommended the 200R. Um, again, I was looking at the Fractal uh, R5, or the Fractal R4. Um, this was about the, the comparable price, and I didn't have to wait. Um, to get nobody, no, nobody nearby had the Fractal, and I didn't want to wait. So Micro Center had this. This was one of the things that were on my radar among a couple of different options, and I like it. It has uh, a lot, you know, for easy uh, threading of the uh, of the wires. It has, you know, it, ha it has a lot of good stuff. I definitely recommend this case, and I got a pretty good deal on it. So this is. I'm, I'm just going to wait for the SSD drive. I'm going to start, you know, building this uh, sometime this week. I know I have carpeting in the office. So I know a lot of people are, be, are probably thinking, well, don't build that there, <laughs> all static. Uh, no, I'm not going to be building this here. Um, I was thinking maybe I'd put down some, you know, card, uh, some, some cardboard uh, sheets uh, and do it here. This is really where it's convenient. But I, I've got a kitchen. I've got some other areas. Unfortunately, my wife wanted carpeting throughout the house. So <laughs> I've got a lot of carpeting. Uh, but there's plenty of spaces where I can do this. Uh, and and make sure that I'm not building up a lot of static energy. Not that that probably would be that huge of a deal, but hey, why take chances? So um, I'm going to build this up. So you, you sometime in the next couple of weeks, you'll start seeing some more bat reps from me. Some of them a little bit more better, better edited. Uh, I'll probably be looking for an editing software somewhere and go from there. But you know, finally got this stuff in, and finally we'll join the land of the uh, the the modern PC users, or at least something a little more recent than what I was using, which was chugging along at you know five year old technology this stuff is not again latest and greatest um, it's 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 a modest budget ish computer um, I'm not going to spend two thousand or three thousand or four thousand dollars on a computer I, you know I could have gone you know bumped it up a few more hundred bucks but I wanted to be reasonably frugal and if I really need to I can always you know upgrade the the graphics card get some more RAM and if I really wanted to you know do the whole you know get a whole nother motherboard and start over there but a lot of these components I think are going to last me for a while um, at least a reasonably long time because you know things move so fast but I don't need to be on the cutting edge uh, so look out for more stuff from me and have a great day everybody